All right, guys, um, Auburn here, Stag Arms. We're here with Garrett Long, um, the VP of Fish and Hunt. Uh, Cal, you want to tell us a little bit? What, what do you do, Cal? I'm the director of conservation. And uh, one thing about shooting sports, right? It's just Pittman Robertson dollars going in the bank for good conservation funding, so. No, we love that. That's yeah, awesome. we made a lot of money for the fund today. Uh, we did. I was gonna say, we, I, every time I'm pulling the trigger, it's cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. All for a good cause, right? Impact! Boom. Stag Arms and Meat Eaters came out. You know, we wanted to meet up, link and do some shooting, let you guys play with some ARs. Um, we know this guy shoots, uh, you got one of the new 6.5 Creedmoors and a three gun Elite. Um, yeah, really, you know, we, we like to kind of push the fact of hunting with an AR, you know, some of the practicalities of that, but we know you guys don't really hunt with an AR. So what are, what are your, some of your thoughts as far as just, you know, practice and, and different ways that an AR can be utilized? You know, we know you guys aren't pushing the, the hunting with an AR like we are, but I don't know, what, just ways that you guys saw some things that maybe an AR is useful for. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's it's a personal experience, like how I was brought up thing, that like the AR just wasn't the the tool that you you took out to go hunt in the snow and the and the pine needle drop and all that stuff. Right. Uh, so for me, it's, it's just a fantastic, like relaxing way to put a lot of rounds down range and work on you know smooth trigger control and and target acquisition and and not have your shoulder beat up at the end of the day yeah, you want to try that i haven't shot a, one of those in like 10 years Dude, well, these, you're, you're with this is the way, she, the way we built that thing is there's really not a lot of recoil really that. that's what i was worried about especially like in a 556 or 223 if you're going out um it's not four dollars a shot so you can go out there and get a lot of practice on the trigger without having to break the bank. Sound like a hit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then if you're, like I think it, with a gas gun in general or an AR in general, you got to have very good trigger control to start shooting long range with it. So then for me, it translates into the long guns, right? When I start, when I get behind like a half pound trigger, after shooting like the three gun elite or something man then it's like very simple right um and it, it does just teach very good trigger follow through scope and it should be just a perfect oh shit yeah, yeah okay there oh so there we go okay i also found out with 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 the positions too because it seems like after you pull the trigger you have to maintain the gun in that you know mm -hmm. with that perfect form in order to get the gun back on target Whereas like a bolt gun is kind of quick. It's like, boom, it's there, you know? Yep. Where this gun to kind of take, cause you had that, the rotating mass, or, you know, of, yep. of the buffer coming back and forth. So I feel like, and, and, and you would prob probably know better than I, but getting good at shooting with the AR, then going to a bolt gun, it's like, man, your, oh, yeah. your positions are going to be tight. Yeah. Your yeah. technique. That's yep. a good point. Yeah. No, man, I think they're sweet. See? Yeah, like a beautiful cluster there, right there. Right? So, so you on... just, your impact on that last one uh -huh. was was just slightly low and right of that. The center. Yep. There's really nobody I run into where I'm like, you haven't practiced, or I'm like, You've, you're practicing too much, right? It's like it's not a thing. So, yeah. um, and it's a huge help to have that. Just like having a dedicated turkey shotgun, it's a mm. huge help to have a dedicated like practice gun. It's set up for, you know, ideally, yeah, not big, heavy hunting loads. Right. That you can you can spend a reasonable amount of money yeah. shooting, practicing, getting confident, and then that's going to transfer over for for the uh, the meat gun. Right. Wow. Thank you. That was yeah. really cool. With that set up, you just got to know you're going to hit it. No, I mean, I'm the same way. I grew up without... An AR was not a thing in my family. Like you don't play with it. You just, my parents didn't even care to have one in the house. Um, so getting the experience of playing with an AR, but using it, like you're mentioning, the practicality of, of really gaining fundamentals shooting because it's it's a practical round that you can, you know, pay less amount of money for to get your hands on it and then go shoot. It's got less recoil. It really gives you 
a training aspect that you don't get with a bolt gun where it's like oh my gosh this thing rocks my world after 10 rounds and you don't feel the need to keep shooting it anymore you're like i'm zeroed i'm done you, you kind of case it up and have it ready for the season um but like you mentioned it, it's really unique to take the ar develop the fundamental and then if you're choosing to go gas gun bolt gun whatever you're you're basically set up as long as that rifle zeroed your you know your trigger pull everything is is all fundamentally based and and i think it's a cool experience where now like you said with the 22 if you didn't have a 22 you got to have one for for my world of things it's like if you don't have a gas gun and you don't have it suppressed then it's like you need to you need to go down that route because then it's like wow this is like just you know when you go hunt we went deer hunting last year and uh with some guys at at vortex some other things but it was it was crazy to see just the ability it it had to improve every shot or the feeling or the experience that you get with it being a gas gun suppressed and then all these other cool things that you're not used to it's like a whole new world of stuff that i'm always really pumped to be experienced to that every single time i'm glad you guys got a play with them yeah, with us fun. yeah that was cool yeah, yeah. absolutely it was, it was a good time looking yeah. forward to the next time yeah absolutely. we'll have to do that you guys have to come out to wyoming now and do a hunt with uh, us we don't or... like the wind <laughs> yeah <laughs> well, that, that's yeah it was like today, today. Like, we're, this is like we're gonna get spoiled here yeah. beautiful day out here awesome range with targetry steel all the way out to what a thousand and 1200, 1200 yeah. and they're scattered all out there so thanks for having us yeah, out yeah absolutely that was fun it was a good time Coach, it was amazing. Good job. You're in a tough situation. There's a lot of coaches here. (laughs) Visit stagarms.com and check us out on social media and YouTube at Stagarms.